Hi everybody, welcome back. I hope you're all okay wherever you are, whatever you're doing, whatever time of day it is even. Thanks so much for watching again. All your likes, your comments and your subscribes. Really, really thank you so much. Okay, let's see what today's energy is going to be about. Let's just see what comes out. Okay. Oh, Ten of Pentacles again. That cough's been coming out a lot. It's got a lot to do with family and money. Felt that a lot, especially in the last few days. Let's just have one more. Ooh, right. Okay, I feel that someone you're connected into is trying to control their situation at the moment. They're trying to retain some form of stability. That's what they're projecting out. That's possibly what you're seeing or what you're being told if you're in no contact. That all is hunky-dory in their world um they could have moved on somewhere where there's more money etc etc however what's really going on i'm getting is that they are realizing that it's all not as they thought it was going to be okay but they are trying to maintain a level of control and they are not telling anybody about it that I can see from these three cards here. So I'm going to go into that a little bit deeper. Okay. Just while I'm shuffling these though, if you would like a personal reading, if you just click on the title of this video, it's all in the description box and the free relationship report as well. Okay, let's just clarify these cards. Like I said, I've got them... Oh, yeah, they're very, that's an interesting, that's, this clarified the two of wands, self-focus, career. The two of wands actually can be quite a selfish card, okay, it's different in different types of readings. But it is about an energy of somebody who always almost has a foot in the door, but the other foot out of the door, that's how I like to describe it. They get very passionate to start with, really excited about everything. But then they just get bored, okay, or they just want to try different things. But what I get from this energy is that they make sure they've got somewhere else to go to before they move on, okay. You know, it's not sort of where a relationship just naturally comes to an end and you separate. This, The energy of this person today is already planning where they're going before they disappear into the ether that's what they're doing again okay they're in this energy of boredom you know that's one way of describing it but they're not telling anybody because slap bang in the middle we've got the ten of pentacles okay so they're either connected in and I th yesterday there was a lot of that energy in yesterday's reading they don't want to lose something. The Ten of Pentacles is all about family, money, inheritances, stability, pensions, you know, money. They don't want to lose that. Whoever they're with at the moment, they are deceiving. Okay, they are deceiving the person they're with at the moment. They're not telling them that they're actually in this energy. Okay, so if you're wondering, you know, what, what your person, if this reading's for you today, just take what resonates, is kind of doing, they're in a situation where they're okay, they're doing okay, they don't want to lose something. If you didn't watch yesterday's reading, maybe check that out. They don't want to lose that. Okay, so they're not telling anyone. The communication within a family, if they're within a family, is not very good nobody's t talking the truth they're all skating around the issue so i just feel that your person is very focused on themselves at the moment it's quite a selfish energy um you know they're just looking at what they can have and what what they can almost get yeah third party card has come out okay if you know there is a third party specifically it has clarified the ten of pentacles and I'm going back into the energy of yesterday's reading where someone is a benefactor. You know, somebody is 
is providing something I feel for your person. It could specifically be the other woman. Now, within this energy, though, your person is not happy where they are, not in the two of wands energy. They're looking to move, move on to do something else, okay? But they are not talking about it because they don't want to lose whatever they've got whatever they've gone into, they either don't want to lose a property. It is very similar to yesterday, which is interesting, because when I did yesterday's, it was a really, just a very strong sort of energy, and I probably could have gone on probably for another hour in yesterday's reading, to be honest. The communication between your person and wherever they are now is not brilliant. What else? Can you just clarify that for, for swords for me, please? Four swords, yeah? Clarify by withdrawing, quitting. Yeah, your, your person's on. The, the, this person, whoever this is for, uh, I've got air, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra. I've got earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Sorry, I'm just think it's so warm again today. Fire, Leo, Sagittarius and Aries, okay? They have withdrawn... I feel they've withdrawn on a passionate level from the situation. I'm not actually sure who's using who here. I think it's cutting both ways. Your person's very focused on what they want to do at the moment. They are looking to maybe even take money out of where they are so they can build up their own career. But they're not... If they are with a third party that you know about, the, the communication between them is pretty poor at the moment. It's pretty poor. Let's just have some more, please. Yeah, I'm just, what I'm doing here, you probably can't see, but I've got like a line. So the two of wands is your decision card as well. It's a choice card. Clarified by the way out. They're looking for a way out. But I got that yesterday. But the crux of it is, is they're not going to let go of whatever this Ten of Pentacles is representing. They're not going to let go of it. And also, the person they're connected into, if it is a third party, it's going to cost them a heck of a lot of money to leave this other person. Because that's what clarified the Ten of Pentacles, okay? It's going to cost them so much money. I just don't think they can afford to do it. I don't think they can afford to do it. I think it's almost a situation that is just based on finances. Okay, there's, there's no cups here. I'm just not getting any emotion in this reading today. Um, I'm getting a lot of solitude almost, but I'm not getting any emotion. Can we just have... Clarify, please, Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles, selfishness. Okay, there's a lot of selfish energy in this reading today. I am feeling that it is cutting on both ways here, though. I feel that um, the person who's on your mind is being selfish but the person or whoever they're with is also being selfish. And I think that both parties here know, so if it's third party or family or whoever they are with, your person knows and the other person knows or the other people know, okay? It just seems to be a mutual... Um, a mutual situation that benefits both parties, but there's no love here. I think that's the crux of it today. I think that's what's coming up is there's no love. Um, if you know they've connected into a third party, the third party is extremely selfish. The third party's main concern is the roof over their heads, the money, you know, the pensions, whatever it is, whatever's, you know, going on here, that is their main concern and they will not let that go. They won't let that go. I think your person 
on one hand, there's no passion, okay? I'm not, there's no passion and there's no love, all right? It's just literally what's in the physical. So on one hand, they are comfortable, okay? You know, with the status quo, with the fact they've got all these things around them and that's all they are, things, but spiritually they're empty. That there's no love and there's no passion at all. I see that the passion has dwindled, okay? I feel for some of you, your person made a choice to move to something that they thought, thought was going to benefit them in the physical more, meaning financially or somewhere to live, etc. But they are now absolutely bored. Okay, they want to pull out of it. They've withdrawn, like I say, that's why I'm getting no cups. I've got no emotion here, I've got no love. One more, yeah, regret, loneliness. Okay. They regret walking away from you, okay? They regret doing that. They are trying to keep control of the situation. This is their energy. They don't want to talk about it. They don't want to think about it. They just don't want to do anything. With the other cards, though, I think they're in denial. I think they're in denial. I think they are just frightened of losing. Like I said, I, I feel it's money orientated. Weird, it's the second day this energy's come through. They're very frightened of losing that. They are connected in with somebody who is extremely selfish. Um, they, your person wants to focus on themselves and they're looking for a way out. But sat in the middle is this other person's energy. Okay, they're just trying to keep control of their life. They're trying to keep the stability at the moment. Let's just see what else we can get on this. Let's just have a look. Let's get this deck out. Okay, can you clarify way out for me, please? Ten of Wands, yeah, they've had enough. Okay, they've had enough. The passion's gone. What's what? What started out as a good idea is just a burden now. They're finding the whole situation they're in a burden. They could actually be very physically tired. There is someone, whether it's them or whether it's whoever they've connected into, wherever they live in their environment, who is not pulling their weight. It's just an uphill struggle. The environment they're in at the moment, it's an uphill struggle. I think your person's bitten off more than they can chew. I think they thought it was going to be an easier ride. I don't think they realised that the environment they've gone into was going to be quite so much hard work and so selfish. You know, a tennis completion, I, I can see eventually they will tire of this. I think once somebody gets into that two of wands energy, um, because it's following down, you see that's at the top, and then we've gone into the ten. I think they're going to tire of this. Can we just clarify the environment, either the other third party or, or whoever else they've connected into, please? What's going on there with selfishness and the ten of pentacles, please? Queen of pentacles, well, well. That just answers all of it, really. <laughs> The, the person, and I am getting predominantly it's female, okay. And this other person, selfish. Queen of Pentacles can be a beautiful energy, but I'm feeling this in a negative today, okay. It's somebody who does like the finer things in life, um, but doesn't always want to work for them, okay. They can be very stubborn, very controlling with money. Um, this other... This third party or this other energy, it is all money. It's just money. Um, you, you know, stability. Your person's trying to keep this situation stable. They're trying to keep it stable because this other... I am getting female energy. Um, 
just they're just driven by money they're just driven by status okay it's status here it's status but i don't think your person with a ten of wands will be able to keep this on much longer i'm getting that your person's like i said has bitten off more than they can chew here okay they're having to carry the can for a lot for this female energy who i feel is not either not pulling her weight or she just expects so much okay if you feel or it's your story that it, this situation is just a business situation or a financial situation if you were wondering that this reading today definitely says yes it is it, it definitely says it is there's nothing but strife here okay let's just see why your person is feeling regret please at disconnecting from you why are they feeling regret please oh gosh they want to come back night ones yeah okay I think your person would like to say sorry for their immaturity. Okay. They've done this before, I'm going for some of you. They, they're they quite impulsive. I mean, it is just player energy. Okay. This is somebody who moves on to the next bright, shiny object when they get bored or frustrated. This person doesn't like to feel trapped. Okay first card out this is their energy they're feeling trapped now they're feeling trapped now and i honestly think for some that they're even reaching a decision whether to continue with a business partnership whether to call it quits i feel they want to call it quits but with the ten of pentacles here there's been a lot of money invested or there's a lot of things tied up also there is family here as well family there are traditions here that they possibly don't want to break or they are too scared to break they regret leaving they do regret leaving but their main thing is just a complete web of lies here wherever they are it's just lies it's just like an image that's being projected out but underneath the surface, that I just don't see any love here where they are. I don't see any passion here. The only focus of this whole situation is, is money. Either they went for the money or the person they've connected into went for the money. It's just money. Money, 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 money. Okay, let's see what they might do next. Let's see what they might do next, please. I take three cards along the bottom here of these rows I've been working down. What might they do next? Oh, six of Wands. Yeah. They're going to put themselves first. Your person's going to put themselves first here. Whatever, they're, whatever they've engaged in now, they're going to put themselves first. They are somebody who likes success, your person. They like to win, okay? And I feel they will get themselves out again, whatever, whatever they are, because they have to win. Okay, they, they have to be the winner. It is an energy of somebody who is a little bit selfish, who likes people to look up to them. And also, this is somebody who, who manages to get people running around after them, you know? Okay, let's have two more, please. Right. Uh, now we've got the full picture. Okay, your person eventually, I feel, will move on. It's almost like yesterday's reading. I'm sure it was the Knight of Pentacles. I've got seven of pentacles here. So, clarify my knight of wands. So basically, the energy I'm getting here is your person is biding their time. They're looking at what they've invested into this situation. Now, normally your person is somebody who would just do it. They see something, they want it, they get it. Not always in a bad way. 
They just do that. That's just the energy. But this time, they are taking their time. Because in the middle, we've got the Two of Pentacles. So for the foreseeable future, I see your person trying to keep all the balls in the air for now. Okay? I don't see them as much as there is no love here. There's not even one cup out here. There's no emotion. There's no passion. I feel your person's going to work out how they can get out of this situation. Okay? There, there is a possibility they will come back to you. Um, especially if they've done that before. If you've been through this cycle before with them, then there's a strong possibility they'll do it again. But for now, I just see them keeping see them keeping all the balls in the air on all levels. Specifically, they could be just keeping the balls in the air financially. They could be robbing Peter to pay Paul. Your person also could be working out how to move some money. Okay, they're not about to give this up. As much as they don't want to be there, and as much as it is just a, uh, I don't know, it's just like a financial arrangement really going on here. They're not going to, they're not going to drop the ball yet. Okay, so I, I hope this makes sense to someone today because it's not really a, it's more of a what, what's going on in their energy. They do regret leaving you they do regret being so immature and impulsive and just just regret almost following the coin i'm going to say but on the other hand they can be a little bit selfish and they are quite focused on themselves so they're not about to like i say drop everything they're just going to juggle for now they're just going to juggle but wherever they are, there is not a lot of love. Okay, there's not a lot of love. I'm just going to get an advice card for you. Let's see what advice we've got for you. Personally, looking at this, if this was my reading for me, I'd be staying the heck away from all of this until it all sorted themselves out. Yeah, keep healing. Just keep doing you. Um, you've done a lot of healing. You, you've done a lot of work on yourself. You've got your own dreams, your own ambitions, even if they seem far away at the moment. Even if you feel, gosh, you know, I just can't reach for this. I haven't got the energy to do this. Stars saying it's coming. If you're manifesting something in or you're working to your own goals, it is coming. Okay, it's a beautiful card. It also says that if you're struggling to heal from from your situation keep going you, you will reach it and I know people say self-love and I say you know sort of always say that but it will happen eventually you will you will get there let me just have one more for you please strong Aquarius energies as well yeah yeah, interesting, Seven of Pentacles came out in their energy, Seven of Pentacles has come out in yours. Just hold on to your own healing, hold on to your own vision for your future, hold on to the love you have for yourself, because you're amazing and you're worth it, okay? Take your time, don't make any rash decisions, and I'm also going to say just be proud of how far you've come. Just be really proud of how far you come. Even some days, if you think you haven't got a lot to show for where you are, just be so fucking proud of where you've come because you're doing amazing. Okay, so that's today's reading. I'm sending you loads of love, loads of energy. Take care, whatever you're doing, wherever you are. If you want any personal readings, everything's in the description box. And I'll speak to you soon. Loads of love. Bye.